Hello, Marcos Torres here from RBC. On behalf of my colleagues at RBC, as well as my family, I want to wish you all an incredibly happy Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. As I sit back here and think about this 30-day celebratory period that Congress installed some 50 plus years ago, I think of many things. Uh, one, that I'm incredibly proud to be Latino. Two, I think of my parents and of the courage that they had to migrate from Puerto Rico to the mainland U.S. Um, without an education, without money, without a social network here, without any knowledge of the English language, and, and to have taken that journey to ensure that my brothers and sisters had better opportunities than they did. Uh, three, I think about all of the incredible work that we're doing here at RBC Capital Market as it relates to diversity and inclusion and to ensuring that black and brown people have equal opportunities to get jobs at, at this firm as well as, and more importantly, to grow and, and develop into uh, long-term professional uh, and financial rewarding careers. And then lastly, I think of Ballet Hispanico and all the incredible work that they do with young people uh, in neighborhoods and schools to ensure that they have opportunities beyond that which is immediately visible to them. And all of the work that they do showcasing and highlighting Latino arts uh, across the world, frankly, across the globe. And so I'm incredibly thankful um, to be Latino. I stand here on the shoulders of giants um, that have come before me and I look as much as possible to pay it forward. Um, to, to help other Latinos uh, fulfill their dreams. So I wish you a happy Hispanic Heritage Month.